You guys, I, uh, I don't know how much longer I have. They're coming after us. Check this out. We got fact checked. Look at this. Spreading false information on Z education memes. Yep. Spreading false information. How dare us? How, how dare you? And what was the false information, you may ask? Check this out. Payday Candy Bar is changing its name because it's offensive to those who don't work. You know, I know everyone watching this is too stupid to know that that was a joke, so thank God for the fact checkers for clarifying that one. I'm Tyler Zed. Welcome to Z Education. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another emergency meme review. You guys, we don't know how much longer we have. We might be kicked off Instagram and in turn kicked off YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. I mean, they're fact checking memes like this, a clear joke. And this isn't the only one that they have fact checked over there. Check this out. This can't stop a fart, but this can stop COVID-19. There's a question mark on there fact checkers, and you didn't answer whether or not that could stop a fart. Can it or can it not? Can you please clarify in your dumb fact checked? Please, please. If you are not following the memes page on Instagram, please head over there and spread these memes. Please. We need to make sure everyone sees this false information, these clear jokes. We need to spread the credibility of these fact checkers. So please head over there uh, and let everyone know what they can and cannot post. And that is the point of today's video. We're going to do a little meme review and I'm going to tell you what you can and can't post because obviously we have to bend over to the overlords. There's no more making jokes, guys. No more making jokes and everyone needs to know, okay? If you are ready for today's video, please head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's video. Can you post it or can't you post it? Go. If they were truly worried about new variants, the border would be closed. Whoa, 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 whoa. That You cannot post that. You can't post this very logical thing, right? I mean, people are coming over, not getting tested, spreading the virus theoretically. Um, so why is, I mean, what am I, what am I saying? What am I saying? You can't talk about this. You can't point out this idiocy in idiocracy today. <laughs> okay. Um, where are the fact checkers on this one? Did Mario actually do this? Is this a real photo? Uh, because if he did, Mario belongs in jail. Uh, but I, I don't know. I can't think for myself. So fact checkers, please help us out here. I'm going to have the audience post this one everywhere just so we can uh, get your attention. But we need this fact check, please. White liberals be like, minorities need me to speak for them. That's actually a fact check true. You can share that meme. You can definitely share that meme. When there are too many new genders and you want to be clear. Dick owner. Come on, Richard. Come on. MLK didn't die for this. No colored <laughs> pencils. <laughs> I, I'm disgusted. Where is this? This should be front and center of every news outlet in the world right now. How dare this person discriminate from colored pencils? I can't believe this. Share that one. Okay, share that one. If you cannot question it, it's not science. It's propaganda. You might hurt some feelings with this one as well. Pointing out that science is the process of finding out whether or not theories are true, uh, and you should question it. That, and that's being a part of actual real science. But today, that's not where we are. If you question it, if you point out other studies that conflict with the mainstream message, you are an idiot. You get banned. So don't post this, all right? You might hurt some feelings. Rest of the pizza is trash. Just throw it away. Okay, if that's you, you deserve to be locked up. That's disgusting. You know that's not true. You're just doing it to be a contrarian. You're trying to be hip and cool and you're nuts. Vegans, when they go into a vegetative state, it's kind of messed up, but... Uh... I'm sure that's true, so we can post that one. Landlords spend a lot of time renovating this apartment. The apartment. That is uh, landlordism 101. That's a good landlord right there. I've seen worse. Imagine, if you will, a world where every tweet and meme must be fact-checked, but not a ballot. <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh, man. I, okay, now. Now we're getting into... 
some serious do not post territory. All right. You should not promote the fact checking of elections, the fact checking of ballots. You cannot do that. Okay. Accept it. Accept what is said to you on the talking TV. Okay. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. A Moscow farm has decided to equip its cows with VR glasses in order to relax and feel happier. A calm environment leads to an increase in milk yield, so the cows are given a VR headset displaying summer fields. This is literally the plot of The Matrix. I feel like we are kind of there already with the rest of the population. I mean, we're always on our phones, playing games, living outside of reality in our digital world, so maybe this is already kind of true for us too. Goodbye, Pepe. Here's why the longtime Looney Tunes character was canceled. I'm glad he's canceled and my children are safe. Now my son can get back to playing Grand Theft Auto where he just set a hooker on fire so he didn't have to pay her. <laughs> Priorities, guys. Pepe Le Pew was way more problematic, okay? Um, neither of them should be banned in my opinion, but Pepe Le Pew is obviously a bigger problem. If we're, if we're thinking logically, in idiocracy, yes. Barber, what you want, ma'am? Did you just assume my gender? Barber, say no more. <laughs> you can post that one. That's good. What the hell? Dude, I, I, I'm not sure what the point is here. It doesn't look cool. It doesn't benefit you with gas mileage. I, I don't know what the point is here. Can someone explain here? In DC, a friend of mine was reading The Exorcist. He felt it was the most evil book he'd ever read. So evil, he couldn't finish it. One week and he threw the book into Chesapeake Bay. I went to a bookstore, bought another copy, ran it underwater, put it in his desk drawer. If you truly did that, that's amazing. You're a bad person, you're probably going to hell, but that's funny. Want to know the secret of turning $40 into $400? Put the $40 into your gas tank, then drive to work. Hey, whoa, that actually is kind of like the payday meme. It's offensive. We need to fact check on this one because this is totally false information. $360 a day. Wow. Come on, Grandpa. Forget about the zombie apocalypse. It's never going to happen. Worry about the dumbass apocalypse. It's already upon us. Sadly, it's, it's that's true. I've said it for a long time. We live in clown world idiocracy we're living in those times right now hey stupid if you don't use your umbrella mine won't work that is also a fact check true you can post this you should post this so people see this because when you use an umbrella that works perfectly allegedly works perfectly it won't work perfectly unless everyone around you uses it too we know this this is true so make sure people are using their umbrellas okay because if you don't, theirs won't work. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. That's the logic of idiocracy, clown world. So that does make sense, actually. So yes, share this. Stamps foot. I do not want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named Mama Thibodeau Landry, who can bare knuckle box an alligator while reciting the Holy Rosary in Cajun French. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly where I want the gumbo to come from. Come on, Mama. We need you to help here. The CDC reported today that only 28.4% of the black community have received the COVID vaccine. With states like California and New York mandating vaccine passports to enter restaurants and businesses, the black community would be most affected by this modern day segregation. Dr. Drew, don't point out the racism of all this because clearly it's racist. That's why we shouldn't have it, right? I mean, that's why we don't have voter ID laws. So this is why we can't do this, right? I mean, it only makes sense. Never, never mind, never mind, never mind. I, I forgot where we're living right now. Okay, Dr. Do, stop it. Stop it. Old people at weddings always poke me and say, you're next. So I started doing the same thing to them at funerals. <sighs> it's dark, man. It's dark. Oh my. First, the garlic one. The garlic one might actually taste kind of good, but this, that's disgusting. That's over the line. I feel bad for parents nowadays. You have to be able to explain the birds and the bees, the bees and the bees, the birds and the birds, the birds that used to be bees, the bees that used to be birds, 
the birds that look like bees plus bees that look like birds but still got a stinger. Parents, it's the birds and the birds and the bees and the birds and the birds and the bees, bees, bees and the bees and the birds and the birds. Birds. I'll let you figure out uh, what lesson you want to teach parents. I trust the science. You trust the television. Listen to the TV. Bow down and do what the TV says, overlords. Joe, tell the kids about your leg hair. I got hairy legs that turn blonde in the sun. Never forget. Never forget where his mental state is. This is a $100 trillion bill. Only a few years ago, it was legal tender in Zimbabwe. It bought a loaf of bread. I use it as a bookmark. It serves as a periodic reminder of the dangers of runaway inflation. Hey, whoa, whoa. The Fed says it's all under control, guys. All right, don't post memes like this. You might upset the Fed. You might upset uh, what they're doing with printing trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and not caring about our savings accounts, you know? So don't post that. When I post even I don't agree with, sometimes it's fun to just stir the pot. Um, yeah, you know what? All these memes that offend you in these videos or over on the Facebook or Instagram page, save your hate mail because I don't care on my last leg. You all know that I don't donate to panhandlers, but this is pretty clever and it almost makes me want to donate a couple quarters, but uh, not quite. This is good though. I, I appreciate the, the cleverness. Meme them until they cry, then make memes about them crying. Sun Tzu, Art of War. Post them. Post them everywhere. All of them. Until they cry and then post it some more. You're probably going to Facebook jail, but this is too funny. I've seen the top one, but I have not seen the Fauci one. That's good. That is good. 30 day ban. Someone put these stickers on the gas pumps at a gas station. I did that. Uh, I've actually seen this many, many times. I'm not saying you should keep posting this stuff. That's vandalism, guys. Don't do that. That is funny though. If you think an 18 year old is too young to own a rifle, but a 16 year old is mature enough to vote, a 14 year old is old enough to get an abortion without parental consent, and a three-year-old is mature enough to decide their own gender, then you are the problem. That's not what the TV told me. This conflicts with my TV. Have you ever seen a toucan without a face mask? I knew it. I knew it. Don't share. This is actually shocking information. Do not share this. People might freak out. It's been a lie this whole time. Is your freedom more important than my safety? I don't effing know you, bro. My lunch is more important than your safety. Fact check true. You can post that. Well, this guy is going straight to hell. <laughs> and if you laugh at that, you're going to hell too. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Where's your mask? <laughs> and that annoying sound is about to get a lot louder here soon. How much and what? $250. Okay, what's the job? My young son, Andrew, keeps opening his bedroom window at night, even though I keep telling him not to. It's full on winter right now, and he's blowing up the heating bill when he does it. So if you agree, I'm going to tell him that if he doesn't close the window, a fat evil dwarf will climb into his window and steal all of his toys. I have a ladder for you to climb up the window and walkie talkies for us to talk. When you start climbing into the window, make lots of panting, grunting sounds to wake Andrew. When I hear him yell, I will run into the room with a large broom and bug repellent, which I will spray you with before shoving you out of the window with the broom. I have purchased a very large beanbag bed from Sharper Image that we will put out under the window for you to fall onto, only about 15 feet. 12 a.m. would be the best time as I know Andrew will be asleep. I can also provide a written reference you may add to your employment portfolio. Is this for real? Yes, Isaac, and I need results. I hope that was real. I hope somebody actually posted this and is trying to teach their kid a lesson. That's amazing. Next level. Maybe a little too far, but it's funny. Doctor, do you smoke? Dad, yeah. Doctor, cigarettes, marijuana? Dad, mostly brisket and pork. Ban this meme. Ban it. When Hollywood makes a movie about Hurricane Harvey. 
Yep, Netflix, you got to make sure, you got to make sure, even if it's not accurate to what really happened in history, you have to make sure you have representation all around, okay? I truly believe water can solve all of our problems. Weight loss? Drink water. Clear skin? Drink water. Tired of someone? Drown them. Fact checkers, I'm, I'm saying this is a fact check. Do not do. False. It's not a good idea, you guys. Don't do this, all right? If I've offended you with my posts, I humbly apologize. I honestly didn't think you could read. I didn't think you could read, but I also don't apologize. Save your hate mail. Don't send it to my email. Don't DM me. I don't care. I don't care if any of these or anything I've ever posted offends you. Get over it. What do you think about today's meme review? Do you think this stuff is postable? Can you post all of this? Should you post all of this? What do you think about those insane fact checks on Instagram? Um, and while we're on that, please head over there if you are on Instagram, share all of those memes, any of them that have been fact checked, share all of them because we need people to see you guys. We need people, we need to spread the fact checking credibility across the board, people gotta see. Let me know what you think down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. What must be what? Idiots.